I'm energetic and I'm definitely a go-getter. All the way back as a kid, I, for some reason, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to have my own business. I, I had this book that I would write all my little ideas and, and I'd refer to them and then I'd, some of them I would actually see like come to life and I'd be like, okay, someday that's gonna be me. I remember going to the streets of Castries with my grandmother and that's the first time I was privy to the whole concept of shoe repairing. I always had a mishap with my shoes, always. My first job was actually at the bank and I remember there was this one time I was going down the, the stairs and you know it's so super quiet and my heels came off and all you could hear was talk, talk, talk. So I used my mishap and my setbacks to form a solution because I knew I couldn't be the only one who had boo-boos with my shoes. On my way to work, my nine to five, and I was praying. And then I got the thought, I was like, okay, this is so random, but I'm gonna go with it. I started off with a couple of surveys, random questions. I actually sat on the side of the road a couple of times to the point that they thought one of the cobblers was my father. Putting together my plan, it actually took me my entire Christmas vacation. I stayed in front of the, the computer tirelessly. I did some research, but to be honest, I was a little scared. In the early stages, it, it was pretty challenging, still now. I even had a couple of customers who, in the early stages, they laughed and they said like, this would never work. I had opposition from everybody in the industry because it's primarily a male dominant industry. I started to doubt myself, even with a strong plan. I mean, I knocked on many doors, um, financial institutions, and every single one shut me down. However, not wanting to give up, I actually ran into uh, Mr. Brian Weezy, who encouraged me, and he made me look at what I had, and he made me think even harder. Um, and he asked me, do you really need the financing to start and I was like well yes I do and he's like if you can start you just start as a young entrepreneur you're everything from the janitor to the accountant to the the FC everything so I think my first day I was super nervous and I, I was like will this thing actually work but just wing it I took lots of selfies. <laughs> I had fun with all my friends who came um, by and it, it seemed like it was something that had potential. The fact that we opened, I don't know, it, it's, it's a great feeling. It really is a great feeling for me. Um, I, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something and I'm one step closer to my big vision. Sure we have we sell shoe love. We, we, we've pretty much taken the dyeing trade um, and mix it up into something that is more modern. Um, technology is a big part of, of what we do, so we want to be convenient. We even have our website, so persons can actually go on there and you know check the status of their, their footwear. I wanted to create something that was never done and do it differently and do it big. Shoe Rehab is also a member of the SSIA, which is the Shoe Service Industry of America. Um, so that's where we get a lot of training and support. Um, we use all industry standard material. So again, it's keeping in touch with um, innovation and doing things differently. Starting your own business is a lot of hard work. It is ridiculous how much, and not not just in the hours, but in terms of having a vision and ensuring that you 
focus on that vision despite anything else. I believe it's important to focus. It's important to plan and be strategic. Maybe get a mentor to guide you along. And I think networking is very important as well. And pray. And don't give up. Full stop.